quickly be going over the new high-rise bag. It's much smaller, a lot less stuff in it because we're not carrying as much stuff up. Some stuff in your old bag is gonna have to be transferred over into the new bag. Chalks, search tags, some of the hand tools. Um, the this spanner wrench is already in there, but you'll have to bring over the pipe wrenches, the big one and the little one, and any wheels or anything like that. So these will be the pieces that come in your high-rise bag. Gate valve, pressure gauge, 45 degree elbow with relief valve and two spanners, plus the L-cart bag itself. And then we'll move over into the high-rise hose. It's going to be Pond Gladiator, two inch with two and a half inch couplings, 375 foot lengths. It replaces everything else that we have in our system now. It also comes with an L-cart brass smooth bore with a one and one eighth inch tip on it. To be pumped at 50 PSI plus friction loss. The new bag from Elkhart Brass, much smaller. Inside the bag, when you get it, you'll find we'll have a single gate valve, two and a half inch fittings, so that we can take the line from two floors below and bring it up to the floor below so that one individual can work both lines monitoring the pressure gauges. You'll have your new lightweight Elkhart Brass Pressure gauge, shock resistant, much lighter. Elkhart brass, 45 degree elbow with pressure relief valve. Five foot lengths are packaged in a New York fold. It's extremely easy to do, and for uniformity, we're all gonna do it the same way. And in this video, we'll show you exactly how it's done. We're gonna go over folding the New York fold. At the end, you'll see that it loops over itself. One side of the hose, you will see that it's green. The other side, you'll see that it's striped. When you go to the other end, to your couplings, you will see that the orientation when you're facing down the hose this way is the male is on the right, the female is on the left. The male side shows green, the female side shows stripes. Now they're gonna demonstrate how to do the New York fold. It's super simple, you just keep folding it in half and folding it in half. Bring it right to the end of the couplings. Perfect. Straighten them out, help them straighten these out. And she's gonna fold it in half again. This seems, when you do it this way, couplings over the top, it seems to fold neater. It doesn't get off-centered and bunched up because it's not resting on top of the couplings when you fold it. When you do your straps, you want to set your straps up so that when you're done strapping it, the strap releases, which are going to be the same color as your truck, are sitting on top for easy access. So Ryan's going to pull the line all the way over and it's going to touch the floor again. That right there is the orientation as he pulls it over, the strap stays on top. Same thing on this end. Pull it to the floor again, pull it back, and the strap's on top. That's the New York Fold without the nozzle. Super simple, there's no guessing, there's no measuring. To start with, Ryan put it right inside the bale. Eric and Ryan put it right inside the handle of the bale. That's your halfway point. Now it's gonna be just neatening it up, fold it over. Now you can fold it back, nozzle and get yeah, nozzle and coupling in the last fold. When you strap it, capture the nozzle with one of the straps. Anthony brought it all the way back to the ground.
done. If you notice the way this is folded, this right here will be painted with white and hopefully your truck color. This is set up like this just for a cleaner fold. It helps stabilize the nozzle. This will be your halfway point right inside the handle of the 